Alright, here we go. Here's the Atari Flashback 2. The game categories are Adventure Territory, Skill and Action Zone, Space, se space Section, and Arcade Favorites. And of course, the Paddle Games. So let me go to there. Alright, for some reason I didn't go there, but anyway, let me try that again. Alright, whatever. But anyway, why don't we try out some gameplay? Um, let's look at combat. Looks exactly like the original Atari did. Looks and feels just like it. Better quality, better everything. Now, I would have liked it. They might, might have enhanced the graphics a little and made it look a little 3D-ish. And I usually deny against 3D remake games. But this game, I really think they could have done it too. They did it to Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe. And I think if they could have done it to that, those games, they could have done it to these ones. Those games didn't really need any rehancing or anything. But this one really could have done it and made it a lot funner. Or made a special selection where you can have a two, well here you can have a one player mode. That would have been a lot better. But anyway, I need to move on. Now one thing you have to know is the reset button doesn't reset the game, the system. It resets the game. So if you want to reset the system, you have to power on and off. But anyway, why don't we try um, to show you how Asteroid was rehanced. Now Asteroids look a, a, look a very good like this, I must say. But I really think they could have left it alone. Now sure, this version looks much better this way, but still. This is this just my opinion. You can have whatever opinion you want. But I'm just saying. The system doesn't need to take any batteries. It's completely electrical. So you can plug it into your wall and play it whenever you want. In adventure territory, you get adventure games. So why don't we try out some adventure? And for some reason, my Genesis pad isn't working too well anymore. No, it doesn't go left. Oh, come on. It was working just fine before. Oh, that killed the video. But anyway, I highly recommend picking up the Atari Flashback 2. It's a great little system for any collector who wants to bring back their childhood or bring their childhood to their kid. I highly recommend the Atari Flashback 2. If you can find it for cheap, I highly recommend picking it up. They're easy to find on eBay and Amazon, but you'll have a tough time finding them in the stores at Walmart or Target. I've never seen them completely in a store, I and mean, I've never really seen them at a yard sale or a game exchange. So if you're going there to look for them, have a short bio, because they're pretty obscure in a store. But anyway, other than that, I highly recommend the Atari Flashback 2. It's easy and affordable, and not to mention, it's fun. What's the difference? Is fun better than bad? No. Is bad better than fun? Yeah. I mean, wait, what? That was wrong. No, yeah, whatever. But anyway, I recommend picking up anything with an Atari logo, except for E.T. Bye. And my next video is my Intellivision collection. Yay, hoo.